This is my second video on Jesus Economics and this is about scarcity, choice and opportunity cost. Our objectives for today are understand what is meant by the basic economic problem, understand why and how choices are made, apply the concept of opportunity cost to all economic decision makers, show an appreciation of how resources are allocated by individuals, firms and government. Definitions Needs Something essential to survival Example, for example, food, water, warmth, clothing, and shelter. Once something you'd like to have, but it's not, but it's not essential for to survival. For example, cars, mobile phones, and chocolate. <clears throat> the basic economic problem is scarcity. So, wants are unlimited and resources are limited. Here is an example. Say I got a Nintendo Wii for my birthday. For Christmas, I might want an iPod. Uh, for my next birthday, after Christmas, I might want a cycle, let's say. And the cycle of what continues. But the problem is, resources around in the world are very limited, and we have to allocate them as efficiently as possible. So how are these resources allocated? Well, resources are allocated through the free workings of the market price, mechanism of supply and demand. We'll get back to uh, this l later on when I do about supply and demand in my later lessons. They are consumers who decide if they want to buy um, producers use resources in order to supply it. The government does get involved in this and I shall explain that to you in more detail in the next lesson or in the lessons for on because the government sometimes owns some of the resources like uh, the UK is a welfare state and the government owns some of the money and some of the resources to provide for the people who need it. Opportunity costs and choice. The definition of opportunity cost is the next best alternative for God when making a choice. Here is an example. If I have one pound I want to buy a Mars bar costing 60p and a drink costing the same price that if I buy the Mars bar then the drink is the opportunity cost because it's the cost for God when made when I made the choice to buy that Mars bar. Here are the different sectors and there are three different sectors in total. The primary sector where extraction of raw materials take place. Here is a picture of someone mining. Mining is an example of a primary sector. Our next, ex our next sector is called the secondary sector, when raw materials are manufactured into goods, finished products. So here you can see factory workers try to make sheets, I guess, from wool. The tertiary sector is the service sector, so they provide a service, such as a teacher. Other services are like lawyers, doctors, nurses. They provide a service. Here's an exam question. It says, with the aid of an example, explain what is meant by the secondary sector. I said, chocolate production is when the raw material, such as cocoa bean, is made into chocolate, the finished product. I gave an example, that's chocolate production. and I explained what the second sector was, is when the raw materials such as cocoa is made into chocolate, the finished product. So the raw, see, I incorporated the, the answer into my example. I said the raw material is made into this finished product, which is the chocolate. A very simple question that could be asked, it says, what service sectors are teachers in? That's very obvious, but so, uh, one person in our class were not able to answer that, que uh, that question well, so here is the wonderful answer it's called the tertiary sector anyways that's all for today uh, i hope you watch my other uh, videos uh, coming up and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day and goodbye